All right, today's question is a fragment of a question from our buddy Kirsten, and her original question was a huge email, um, so I can't really cover it all in one video because I feel like you guys will just get bored. Um, again, if you would like me to do longer videos, let me know in the comments. Uh, but the fragment of the question I'm going to deal with is fear in a dream. Now, she says that she has a couple of waking juice lucid dreams, but every time she starts to see images or hypnagogia, this is the imagery you see when you're drifting into sleep, she gets scared. She says she's worried she'll come across something dodgy in her subconscious, and the more she thinks about this, the more she starts to expect it to happen, which then, she says, makes it more likely to happen. This is true, because what you expect to happen in a dream will often happen. Uh, so it's, she says she's feeling like almost... Uh, she says it's almost like the anxiety itself is stopping its own cure. Now this is really interesting because she is aware of the fact that you can cure and heal anxiety through lucid dreaming, but she's saying that she's anxious about lucid dreaming. So it's like a, a paradox, you can't really have one without the other. So my advice here is, yes, you are correct. What you expect to happen in a lucid dream will happen. If you expect to run into scary parts of your subconscious, then you will. But it's also worth noting that it's not like you're exploring some unknown territory when you're exploring your subconscious, because your subconscious is as much you as your ego, if not more so. You are exploring yourself, okay? You're, you're not, you know, exploring some scary alien world, although in modern society we're not used to exploring our subconscious. It is sort of a neglected area of ourselves, but it's you, okay? It's, it's all you. So don't be scared, because quite often you can find out a lot about yourself just by being open to experiencing it, and just by actually interacting with your subconscious mind. So there's nothing really to be scared of, but then again, if you are scared, then you'll start to expect scary things and you'll experience scary things. So it's important to realise that you have almost complete control over what you experience with regard to what you expect to happen. So the next time you try and lucid dream, you mentioned using the wake induced lucid dream technique. Next time you try that, expect yourself to have a positive, uh, profound lucid dreaming experience. Don't expect anything negative and have complete belief that you can have that experience. You need to totally believe you can do it before you do it. It's just like in the Matrix when he tries to jump over that building. He has to totally believe he can make the jump before he can. Otherwise, he'll just fall. So you need to have that belief before you can do it. I hope this has answered your question. If you have any other questions, again, as always, send them in. I'll do my best to answer them. I am swamped with emails at the moment, so I'm going to do my best to get back to everyone that's already messaged me. But if you have anything urgent, um, leave a comment on a YouTube video. Hopefully, some of you guys can actually answer each other's questions, because there are a lot of things that I could reply to myself, but I feel like a lot of you guys can help each other in some way. I know you've already done this on a few other videos, so this would be great to see that carrying on. It would help me out and it would help you guys out and it would build a sort of little mini community. So go ahead and do that. If you haven't already, subscribe here.